everybody. Hello. Welcome Hello. to our Chalk Couture Live. Welcome back for all those who are joining us again. Do you know where my phone is? Um, no. Okay. I put mine away because well, I'm not supposed to have one. Grab it real quick. He needs his phone, so give us a moment. Hello, Tanya. You just had it. Hello, Melissa. Hola. Karen on UBTube. Hi, Jill and Elizabeth. That's so weird. I just had it. Do you have it out there somewhere? Maybe. Who knows? Hi, Sheila. Heidi and Cindy and Angela. Sherry, hello. Oh, it's in my pocket. It's in my pocket. Hello, everyone. Welcome, welcome, welcome. So, Elizabeth and Hope. As you guys come in, let us Gary know no you one. see us on both Facebook and <laughs> yep. YouTube. I see you there. For those of you who are not designers, we would love it if you shared this broadcast mm -hmm. with all your crafty friends or even those not so crafty people that might love chalk like couture. Um, so, I was going to say, non crafty people can do this. Absolutely. That's how easy this is. Non crafty people can do this. It, that's non crafty me. people can do this. Because that's me, non crafty. In fact, it is so easy to use. Let me show you. So, literally, this is our simple technique. So, if you've never heard of Chalk Couture, we are a high end DIY company. Our goal is to bring um, our products and chalk the halls and walls or ink the pillows of American Canada and empower people to start their own businesses. And I always like to tell people there is three different ways you can experience Chalk Couture. You can, of course, shop our amazing autumn winter collection. And the good news is we actually are doing a big re-release tomorrow. So as many of you are aware, Chalk Couture is hot and trending and we're running out of stuff. But the good news is, is tomorrow we get our first reorder in. So I know a lot of the shimmer paste are coming back into stock. A lot of transfers are coming back into stock. So if you are a Club Couture member, make sure you be, you be, you <laughs> make be. sure you check your email tonight because I'm going to be sending an email to all of our Club Couture members of what's coming back into stock. Plus, if you're not a Club Couture member, let's chat about why you should be. So Club Couture is the second way to experience Chalk Couture you will get an exclusive B size transfer and three pay singles to create a darling project every single month. So this month it is May the Road Rise Up to Meet You. So the only way you can get this transfer is if you are a designer or a club couture member. It comes in this cute package, you can open it up, Sean, sure. and the three pay singles. So once, we are done for the month. This design will be retired and you won't be able to get your hands on it. So only designers and Club Couture members get their hands on it. So Sean is a Club Couture member. So we get one every month and then you get three pay singles. Now I love pay singles. Pay singles um, are a good way for you to experience all of the amazing parts of Chalk Couture, but not buy a whole jar of paste. Now, we used this in an unboxing video and made this. So we actually used it just for its frame. And then I used our placement tape to cover up made the, rose, made the uh, road rise up to meet you. And then we used some stuff there, uh, which was really cute. Now, not only do you get an exclusive B size transfer and three paste singles, but... You also get access to our secret Facebook group, a YouTube live that is only listed for Club Couture members. We will show you how to use the project three to four different ways. We will always use it with paste, ink, and then we give all of the projects away to Club Couture members. Mm -hmm. Plus, we also like to send happy mail. And what is one of the happy mails we are going to be sending people this month for our Club Couture members. Oh, I love these. So, I'll have Sean show you. Let it focus here. But basically, it is a bracelet that says, there we go, says, my crazy vibe is part of Ken's tribe. Oh, that's right. I love this. So, we're actually giving that to certain team members, but 
all of our Club Couture members will get this and more exciting stuff because every quarter we send out a little happy mail um, as a thank you for being Club Couture members. Plus, Club Couture members of ours get an exclusive discount that is so good, we can't even share it live. It is very secret, only certain people. Secret, secret. Secret, secret. Um, so that's the second way you can experience. This is great for people that think they want to join Chalk Couture, but they're not sure, or maybe they don't want to do the requirements. But one great thing about this is um, if you are a Club Couture member, at any time you can become a designer outside of the three-month mm -hmm. commitment. So that brings us to our last way to experience Chalk Couture, which is to join. Now, you can join and sell our product, which is our transfers and our paste and our surfaces. You can play with our product and make beautiful pieces of artwork and then sell the artwork, or you can build a team. The way to start is the starter kit. It's $99 and you get $250 or more in the starter kit. So you get a beautiful Aiden board, you get seven transfers, you get five jars of paste. It is awesome. And it literally unlocks the ability to do this. Oh, maybe not. Yeah. It went somewhere, sorry. It went somewhere. Mm -hmm. It's secret deep. We can't even tell you it's so secret. <laughs> It, we can't tell you, but I wanted to show you some of our paste. We're going to be using shimmer paste today. This shimmer paste, you can see, look at that shimmer. It's right behind the camel color there in that, uh, that is the shimmer uh, scarlet or shimmer. Is that shimmer uh, harvest next to the camel? It almost looks like it. Oh, it is. You're right, Sean. Yeah, another shimmer. And look at our new surfaces. We have our brand new uh, double-sided box frames there that are beautiful. Now, the one question we always get a lot is what's the difference between a starter kit and a Kickstarter kit? So the starter kit is what you would do if you are going to join as a designer. This is the one that's $99 and you get transfers and surfaces and your uh, five jars of paste. Kickstarter is if you were to join Club Couture. So Club Couture is a three month commitment you get $19.99 a month. It gives you an exclusive B-size truck transfer and three pay singles, but you have the option of adding the Kickstarter kit. Now, the Kickstarter kit is, in my opinion, a must-have because this is going to come with our Aiden board. It's going to come with our board and base. It's going to come with two board erasers, a small squeegee, a multi-tool, and the three-ounce jar of bright white paste. A must-have. A must-have. So essentially, the Kickstarter is to kickstart your Club Couture, a starter kit is to start your business with Chalk yeah, Couture. Right. So there you go. All right. So we're going to switch you places. Um, <laughs> it's much stuff. easier that way. Much easier that way than me trying to tell him what to do. And, <laughs> and then going, I don't know which one he wants to. He has a point. Sometimes I go in a bazillion different directions and he's like, I have no idea where you're going next. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, neither do I. Welcome <laughs> to my life. All right. So for those of you who joined us yesterday, we had fun making door tags for Halloween. And we're going to do the same thing tonight, but we're going to be utilizing this transfer, which I absolutely love. This is the Eat, Drink, and Be Scary. This transfer is actually in stock as we speak. And it is a brand new for this season. I absolutely love it. How cute is it? But before we do that, I do want to get my surface ready. Now, if you have any questions, definitely let us know down in the comments. Mm -hmm. Put it in caps and then we'll get an answer for you. Um, easy breezy. So I'm just putting down some parchment paper because I'm going to be painting this. This is a wood canvas. I think we got this at Michael's. A canvas. Um, it's called wood canvas. Wooded canvas? It's wood canvas. I've never heard of that because you would I think, think that's how they, they, they call I think it. canvas would be, well, canvas. How many team players do we have? Uh, oh, you're right. If they call it a wood canvas board. So. I, th I, think, I think they were probably meaning you could probably put a canvas on this. You probably you could. To. That's probably what it is. Uh, Miss Kim says she got her first Club Couture member today. Congratulations, Kim. Where are the applicator pads? Uh, oh, they're in the dryer. I had to dry that. I'll go get them right okay, now. Okay, thank you. So um, this, they come in all sorts of different sizes on this. Um, I get them at Michael's, I believe, and I never, ever, ever pay full price on these. So I wait for them. They usually have a buy, I want to say it's buy one, get two free, or sometimes they have a buy 
one, get two, I don't remember, but I always wait until that deal. So I get a ton. And the nice thing is Michael's has curbside pickup or you can actually um, buy it online. And what's nice is these are double sided. So you have the flat nice side, that's this. And then you have this that has a little bit of an indent in it. And that's what we're gonna be utilizing today. All right, so let's go ahead and get our surface ready here. And I am gonna be uh, using some of this uh, Voodoo Gel Stain. And we're gonna do black first. Voodoo, love the name. And we actually, well I shouldn't say we, Sean and Jazzy filmed uh, this video mm -hmm. uh, today. And what's your thoughts on this stuff? It's really cool stuff. Um, it goes on very nicely, especially with an applicator like this. Um, you can even put it on with a rag. You can probably put it even on with a, um, what do you call it, a, a brush if you wanted to. It looks like we can, we even did a quick test to see if you can layer it. And you can. Dries nice and quick. It's water cleanup, which is even better. Um, and I think it does really well with showing the grain like we all like to see on real pieces of wood like this. Oh, just look how light, look how cool that is. Did you get a sliver? No, I just hit my owie. Oh, you hit your owie, I'm sorry. Let's see. The bleed in. We're good. We're good. Whew. Oof. It's got that owie. Sean just, every time he sees it, he goes, ooh, that's gonna leave a scar. That's gonna leave a scar, it's deep. Go ahead and sit on a hammock, Kenny. You can It'll be fine, Kenny. You You're not too fat for a hammock, Kenny. It was nothing to do and with And then it. all it of a sudden, nothing. it's quickly, oh, it's the wood's rotting. And then when I say, oh, I don't think the wood's rotting. Oh, it's uh, the screws, the rot. screws rot were uh, rotted out or they were. I do love the fact that you try to make me feel better, but it doesn't. It had, it had nothing to do with it. Oh, that hurt though. So because this is not an oil base, um, it's very easy cleanup, as Shauna just said. So I wouldn't worry too much about getting your hands a little dirty. Um, and it dries, which is why I love water base, is it dries super duper quick. We have a question. Sure. From Megan Anderson. If he wants to pop up there. There we go. Do they discontinue things a lot? I want the calendar months you did a long time ago, I'm wondering if it's important not to wait when we see the stuff we want. Things do retire eventually, so you never know. Some things go on hold because of the season. That might be a seasonal mm -hmm. thing, and then it might come back later, which we'll see some seasonal stuff come back for uh, Christmas and stuff. The rule of thumb but. is if it's something in that catalog cycle, meaning that calendar was released in spring, summer catalog, um, it will be supported during the catalog cycle, but outside of that, we never know. So that one did retire. Mm -hmm. um, so I always tell people, if it's something you want before the end of that cycle, um, if you're a designer, check our product list. If you're not a designer, check with your designer and say, hey, is this something that we think is going to retire? But I usually tell people, if it's something you love, don't wait. Karen Radford. Hi, Karen. Do you order that sponge with it, or is that a random sponge? Um, this is available on the what same website that we got the Voodoo Gel. Yep. Um, and we uh, will be uploading a video probably within the next week or so on that. Um, and I love it just because it's easy and it cleans very easy. And because it is water soluble, it. it really is very easy to use. Oh, good question, Penny. So speaking of door tags, do most people use chocolate paste for the base coat or other type of paint? Either way, that's up to you. If there is a, I'm gonna let you do that. So if there's a color of paste that you want to use as your background, please use it, it works great. Um, some people might even thin it out a little better just to get a nice good coating, dry it, let it dry. Uh, just have to remember that if you're going to do that, once you place another paste on top, it's wet, so it might reactivate that. So either mm -hmm. make sure that it is dry, dry, dry. And that. so we like to do things like this because we know this will not cause, will not have that, that won't happen type of thing. So. That's why we usually like to do a paint, but don't don't be discouraged that yes, you can use chalk paint 
to do chalk your base paste. coat or chalk paste or chalk paste to do them. Thank you for painting. And the the chalk paste, um, I think the biggest thing on that is thin it down to a very thin consistency. And then um, if you are going to layer something on it and you're afraid of reactivating it, it's as simple as uh, putting a layer of wax on it. Uh, Molly asks for the Club Couture, is there a monthly, is there shipping for the monthly kit? There is shipping, but we, it's free, free shipping for the Club Couture. So yeah, so basically on, if you join Club Couture, um, your monthly $19.99 does come with the free shipping. So like when we get our transfer each month and three pay singles, that's free. If you were to add the Kickstarter kit, there is shipping with charges on that. And then this month only, it's a, a special, this month only all Club Couture members are shipping free this month. So it doesn't matter if it's one paste mm -hmm. or a hundred paste, it all will ship. Yeah. Couple um, questions free. here. So we have one question from Darlene. Do you wash the sponge or is it a one-time use? You wash it, this is water soluble. So you wash it with soap and water. It's really great. And our lovely Kate Miller. Hi, Kate. Uh, can your packages be purchased as a gift? Yes. I'm a hot mess, but my son loves to do art projects. You can. So you can um, purchase it as a kit. We do have kits online. Or you, my dear, can just talk to us at our mailbox and we can <laughs> give you a catalog and you just tell us what you want. We'll yeah, hook you up. Talk to, talk to us tomorrow if you're working tomorrow and we'll, we'll let you know what we got. Linda, I would love to answer that, but I have no way of typing anything. When do you, uh, where do you buy that stain? Um, so I can, Linda, if you want to private message me afterwards, I can give you a link mm -hmm. of where I buy this. Um, it's only available online or at certain retailers. So just, if you want to reach out to me. Um... Oh, good question. So because there is free shipping, the Kickstarter would be free shipping. Is that correct? You know, I, that's a good question. And I do not know the answer to that. I would assume so, but I have not, since I have no way of adding it. Um, thank you, Melissa, for getting that. I don't know either. Seems like you would, if if it's all yeah. if it's all there. Yeah. Um. Oh, thanks, Melissa. I do have one that has an affiliate link on it that I can share with you guys too. On the Voodoo stain, if you want to support us. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go wash this out. Can you? Can um, you see or no? Okay, let's see. Let's see what happens. It's a little jumpy, but yes, we can see you. Okay. So as you can see, he's uh, just rinsing out the uh, sponge that we just used. This is just the water at first, and you can see how much comes out of it. It's just a sponge on the inside with a nice, we are muted, shouldn't be muted. Um, you can see how easy it is to uh, clean out just with water. And then he likes to add, we, you can add a little soap. He's using the um, scrubby soap that kind of helps. Okay. And then once you uh, get that all nice and clean, um, I threw them all upstairs to get dried in the dryer because I knew we were going to use them. I just forgot to bring them back up. Um, but yes, it washes very nicely like that. Um, and we just use that um, scrubby pad to wash the hands because this stuff works so well with it. Very good. Look at that. Perfect. Nice job. What? Uh, cleaning it cleans so easy yeah. all right so if you let it dry for just a little bit longer we can add a little bit more stain if you want more stain what i found if you go directly from the bottle to the board your stain is going to be a little bit more permanent than if you put it on the sponge applicator first and i think this has to do with the fact that it's absorbing into the wood if you really want a good stain um Sean sanded a board. Do you want to grab the board so we can show all the different colors? Oh, yes. Um, I'll show this Attack. just because we don't have a... Uh, Attack to the board. Uh, you can show both. I don't care. Um, we don't have the video yet to share with you guys because we're ed literally editing it. Hi, Amanda. Miss Billings. 
Hi, Amanda. All right, so I'll let Sean show that. You can move this out of the way. I'm done. I'll, I'm going to do a final dry on it. Yes, if you're going to, um, somebody was asking, the Kickstarter can only be purchased at the time you join the club, so it's going to be that first time only. But technically afterwards, we could put it together for us. Yeah, we could always a... put one together and then do it for you. So basically what we did, and I'll zoom in a little more here for you. Um, we took a door, the, took the, door, uh, the little uh, gift tags that we have, and I sanded the actual the white so if that usually looks like this. Let me see if I want this a little better. It's got the, you know, it's got the wood grain and everything on it. So I sanded that all off just so it's just the material that's underneath, which is kind of an MDF material. So we did the di uh, the seven different colors uh, with it, so you can kind of see how it absorbs into the main stuff and how it kind of sits nicely on top of that. Where's the longboard that had all the colors? That is right outside. Because I put left it here so we could show it. He's going to grab that because the natural wood is what really absorbs nice. That's why I want to leave it in there. Yeah, sorry. All right, I know, a blank screen with nobody talking or doing anything. So here's what the actual raw wood is. raw piece of pine of course everything will look different on different types of wood this is just simple pine with all seven colors so you got the nice white the uh, i forget what this one's called that's called temptress temptress the next one is i don't remember i know this one's away. denim smoke So just be um, looking for that review here in the next. And that's one coat. That's one coat. Yeah, we only did one coat. Um, and it cleans up very yes. easy. So we'll grab that. Um, in fact, um, I just use a little bit of this magical spray. And I think cleanup is awesome. <laughs> that's the nice thing. It's it's not an oil base. It's a water base. Mm -hmm. So that's really nice. And it does such a nice job on anything that's got a nice wood grain. All right. And yeah, no toxic vapors. Thank you, Fatima, for saying that. It has absolutely, I don't even smell anything. I, mm -hmm. you don't, of course, my sniffer doesn't work too well anyway. All right. So now that we are ready, here we go. Doesn't that look, I love it because it's not solid block. We still see the wood grain. It's got this really nice kind of um, natural distress to it. Mm -hmm. You do want to make sure it's nice and dry. dries pretty quick yeah. and then we are going to be utilizing this transfer on it so you just want to make sure that we fuzz this is a brand new transfer and since it's going on um, wood that I have not put any kind of wax on I just want to use it trans I want to do the transfer about three yeah. different times so Jessica asks can you mix the stain to darken a color or make a totally different yeah. color yeah kind of we haven't really just tested it completely like that, but we just did layering with three. Two, I didn't oh, do you the didn't, Oh, you didn't do it. Oops, sorry. Let me click that. All right. So we're gonna utilize a lot of our shimmer colors because they are mm -hmm. coming back into stock. Yes, they will be. So I'll have Sean share the three that I'm using. One of those was an exclusive to... Which is this one. A designer. So you had to have gone to convention to get that. That's why I yep. always say there's perks. This is the Harvest Shimmer and this is the Olive Shimmer. They're all just beautiful. The shimmering, whatever they're putting in the shimmer is a lot better than it was before. So it's really, really nice. Yes. And then I'm going to use Regal to get as close as I can to this purple. Um, so all of our paste should have already been pretty, um, mixed pretty good. Mm -hmm. Our white's a little thick, so I'm just going to thin it out. So if your paste is on the thicker side, all you need to do, like this one you can see is a little bit thicker. So um, we have a fine mist sprayer. And we just use um, distilled water in there. 
add a little distilled water. Now you saw that I moved the frame out of the shot and this is just because when you're stirring the distilled water, it can kind of splash around. And if that happens, you don't want it to ruin your project. Nope. So I like it to be around the consistency of cake batter. Um, so right, right about there is good. But you can always, if you're not sure, just add just a little squeeze. Don't do a full squeeze of that. It's a very fine mist. So a full squeeze, um, even though it seems like a lot, it really isn't. Mm -hmm. And you just want to keep adding it. And the thing is on this, and I tell this to people all the time, because people will say, well, how do you know when you got to the right consistency? The more you play with our products, you get a feel. You get a feel of where you personally like your paste consistency or how sticky you like your transfers. Because there are people that like their paste to be a little on the thinner side. Kind of a, you get a feel for it. Mm -hmm. Hello, Jazzy. Um, Amanda asks, are there add-ins that you can add to the ch uh, chalk paste like glitter? Not really. You can use glitter, but it has to be placed on after you pull your transfer off because glitter is so big and you can go test why you cannot this. go through the, the silk screen part of the transfer. It just can't. It's too big. Even the super fine glitter is still even too big for that. That's why they use something different that the shimmer is a whole different type of uh, character. Um, so, but you can use glitter. You just, as soon as you do your pasting, you, as soon as you pull it off, you, boom, you put on your glitter, let it sit there, let it do its own air drying. Obviously you don't want to blow dry it. Once it's dried, then you take and remove your glitter on that. Use a little, uh, air, um, can of air to kind of get rid of the stuff that's kind of likes to stick behind. Cause you know how static electricity glitter is. And then once you've done that, that piece has then been glittered. So it's kind of nice to use, use a glitter that is kind of somewhat matching of the same color as your paste. It works really well, but you don't have to do that way. Oh, you. All right, so we have all of the paste that I want. So let's go ahead and have some fun. I cannot wait tomorrow all this shimmer comes in with the exception of purple because this one was an exclusive for designers. But I am stocking up on the shimmer because the shimmer harvest and the shimmer... Um, olive are in vogue colors. So mm -hmm. what does in vogue mean, Jonathan? In vogue means it is a special color just for that uh, time of the catalog. And then mm -hmm. once that catalog is done, those in vogues go away. Oh, um, oh. Sometimes they let them go until they're literally sold out too at times. Um, but once that uh, catalog is done, those colors are done. And then they will do another set of in vogues on the next new once so we get them and twice. every once in a while they will make a invoke permanent so raspberry sorbet one time was in invoke and it became a permanent color so i don't want to say that these will go away forever but we just never know mm -hmm. there was a great question up here from kathy zamponga zamponga she says is there anything you would add to the designer's starter kit you have so many great tools. Um, what's really great if you're a brand new designer that you get your that you went and got your <clears throat> designer kit, you will also get once you become a new designer an extra 15% off in your next order, which makes it really great to make that next big one. This is where you want to spend um, your big amount on that big amount uh, order. Because you get you get fifteen percent more on top of the forty. So by doing that, there's so many tools that you can look at. Add that all to that, you get the better price, and that's the way to go. Mm -hmm. we, ha we have all the tools, and we love every one of them. They're great. Yeah, I mean, I think a lot of people will say like, "Oh, you need them all." Um, I love our fuzzing cloth. Don't get me wrong. I love it, love it, love it. But I wouldn't say it's one that you need to have right mm -hmm. in the beginning. Kate, our Postal gal, which we love her much, she says, I loved the shimmer on my early Halloween gift. It is pretty. This purple is perfect. Um, all the other colors that are on there, because I think you did all almost all shimmers on there, didn't you? Her board is all shimmers. All shimmers. Yeah. And you did that on a white board. Uh, Odette board. Yep. Odette, yeah. It's this one here, way in the back. I know he's covering it, but he did that on a white Odette. Because she does so much for us. Yeah, she does. Can. Lisa S., Question is, can you use an embossing blow dryer tool for drying chalk tour? Technically you can. Yes, yeah. you can, but I will have to say, make sure you are not super close to it because that's those uh, dryers get super hot and can uh, dry out your um, 
paste so much that it might get so dry that it'll flake off. But it can be used. You just gotta get it on there. You just need it to get it just enough to dry and you're fine. If you don't have a dryer, if you don't have anything else, you can let it sit for about 15 minutes after you're done and it's great. Yeah, Jane, Jane says exactly the same. Just make sure you have it at a distance, just enough to get it there. So as long as you can put your hand there and you're not burning your hand, it should be fine. I like the hair dryer because it's a lot more forceful, really gets it going. And you have the choice of a cool, a warm, or even a, a hotter if you want. Ooh, look at that. Kim stated that she melted a transfer with a heat tool because they are yep. that hot. So you really have to be careful. I did that. That's why I stopped using my heat tool. Yeah. I wasn't going to say anything because I know a lot of people love their heat tools. But I uh, did that. Got so close. It was my woodland transfer. It got so close. <laughs> that woodland transfer also, is now <laughs> resting in peace. Yes. So Chrissy's <laughs> got a quick question for you. How was the new pokey teal? Pokey tool. I've been on the fence about really if I need it. He loves it. He loves it. I have been wanting a pokey tool of our own for ye well, ever since I started. Yeah. So I love it. It could be his idea when he told them, hey, we need one of these. I think they reached out to me after I said I want it and they said, help us understand why you want a pokey tool. Because at that time, I don't know if a lot of people were using it. And I said, for me, I use it, number one, to pull up my transfer. But number two, more importantly for me, was um, I use it to fix mistakes a mm -hmm. lot. So Jane asks, have you used the other end of the pokey tool to get in those small areas? Yes. It's awesome. So what she's not talking about is this end here. This works perfect to get in to these small spaces. Because even our multi-tool, which is what I would have normally used, is sometimes too big for certain areas. This is even probably just a little more than half the size of the uh, multi-dual, so it's even smaller. Mm -hmm. So it's really nice. And there are times like now you can see where you do need to get in and your multi-tool will just be too much. So Lee asks, so this is literally a hairdryer. Yeah, this is the hairdryer that we got. Sorry, it's so zoomed in. This is the hairdryer we got from Costco. Um, it's a, There's a different color now, but it's um, the Infinity Pro Con Air. I think it's purple now. Yeah, it's purple, and they also have a white one too. With, I think it's supposed to be lighter. Oh, is it? Fatima says, off topic, thank you for creating my addiction to freeze-dried snacks. Ice cream is awesome. I know. I know ice cream is very cool. I was watching them do that on a YouTube, and they were doing ice cream sandwiches. Mm, I bet you that was good. <sighs> so nummy to me. You sold me on the pokey tool. You bet, Chrissy, we'd be more than happy to it is put awesome. our two cents worth about anything we're using. It it. Is, um, I think a lot of people in the beginning was like, I don't understand. It was kind of like um, our pay scraper. A lot of people were like, I don't think I need that, just this. And then it was like, once I got it and started using it, I was like, oh, this is cool. Yeah. So the pay scraper kind of in the beginning, I was like, eh. I don't think it's a must have. You can just use the baby wipe or mm -hmm. whatever. But now that I've had it, I wouldn't be without it. It makes cleaning our boards so yeah. easy. Fran, she states or says, this might be a stupid question and it is not a stupid question, but can I paint walkway stones? You could uh, use our transfers and put that on there. You could use paste. Um, as long as your transfer sticks well to that, um, but obviously once it's on there, you would definitely would want to put a coating of, uh, a coating on there that is, makes it permanent and not come off. So it would have to be a pretty thick material 
So if it's going to be walked on all the time, but if you're going to have something that is just going to be used to be shown and it's not going to be walked on, I would still, especially if it's going to be outdoors, I would definitely still put something on it to protect it. But yes, as long as your uh, transfer sticks to it, makes a good seal, it'll work. At first I thought you said like a walk, a stone, like, cause you can get a lot of those um, river rock stones. Those are smooth and flat. Absolutely, you could uh, chalk on those all day long. So I'm gonna go over to the sink here. Can you move your head back a little bit? Kenny? Oh, sorry. Yeah, thanks. So this is how you uh, wash a transfer. He's using uh, some warm um, running water and a board eraser going back and forth on the chalk side until all of the chalk paste has been removed. Squeeze that nice and good. Once it's clean, flip it. You must do this. Flip it and do the other side because sometimes the chalk paste will just sit on the in the screen without even being clean. It's really weird. Give it a good rinse like that. And once it's done, you put it on, put it on fla a flat surface, uh, sticky side up, and you're good to go. Just make sure your uh, board eraser is uh, cleaned out and dried. You should give it a quick shake and you're done. Nice job. Yes, Jane, our mail lady. Kate is our mail lady that picks up all those packages. Yes. All right, so on here, there's a few little, I wouldn't say they're mistakes, but um, I don't know how close Sean can get in there. Yes, I can, hold on. Right here, there yeah. is a little bit of harvest, and it's hard to see because it's on this black, but. Pull gap, point at it again. It's. Yep, there it is. Yeah. Yep, we see it, yep, we can see it. Um, Molly asks, do you need to seal the boards when you uh, to make it last a lifetime. Yeah, I would say yes, it would be a good idea to do that. And we just use a Krylon or a Rust-Oleum's clear mat. Um, and it works great. Um, usually do two coats. If it's something that's going to be outside, give it about four coats and you're good mm -hmm. to go. Good to go. Yeah, but once it's on there, you can't take it off. Once you, it's, yeah, once it's on there. Yeah, once it's, no, thank you. Yeah. All right, so the last thing I'm going to do to this one, um, let me show you up here, because the shimmer will show a little better. You can really see the black and the regal come through now. Um, but I want to add some white decorative elements. So I'm going to grab, we have our chalk markers. One of them is newer than the other, so I'm trying to figure out which one. Hello, Miss Allie. Hi, Allie. Um, so we're going to use this one, I think. So our chalk markers are awesome and they add just a little bit of detail. So I'm gonna add some dots kind of right here. And so this way, oh, they can't see that, Sean. Oh, I'm sorry, my fault. I was reading one special question. Didn't go back, apologize. Okay, so I can do it again over here. So all I'm doing is taking this chalk marker and at the end of each of these, I'm just adding a little bit of a white dollop because it just adds a little more to it. Um, and then if you feel like it's running out, just tap it a little bit. But just by adding just those little decorative elements of white even, it just makes it stand out that much more. Mm -hmm. I'll zoom in a little bit so you can kind of see it there. Hi, Nancy Briggs. Welcome. See how much e see how easy that is just to add a little more oomph to your uh, piece just by doing that. And our chalk markers come in black, white, silver, silver and, and gold. Mm -hmm. Yes, Amanda, you're right. This white makes it really pop. Uh, 
If you look closely as he turns the board, you can see the diamond-like effect in the shimmer in that, uh, especially in that bat because it's uh, a bigger piece. Mm-hmm. What? Just gonna say you're doing eyes, aren't you? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I love it. Yeah, you'll be you'll you're gonna ask yourself why didn't I ever get these markers before? Because they come in so handy. But you're gonna have to remember it's not exactly the same material as the chalk paste. It's the same color. So they're, they act a little differently. Yeah, it's very hard to, what is it, um, layer on, layer with them? Layer on them and they, they will, uh, doesn't take a lot to get it where they'll come off. Like just a little bit of water will, they'll flake off. And it's just because the consistency of paste, there's no way you can put that into yeah. a marker. No. Amanda asks, how many Halloween transfers are available? Ooh, I Ooh. don't. Know the total because there's some that are in the catalog that are on our website. Mm -hmm. um, I would say at least two dozen. Linda, it's not a paint pen, it's a chalk pen. So the idea is with water, it would be removable. And you're a genius. Create a genius. Love your eye. Oh, Cry that's for your detail. Thanks, Leslie D. You can almost say Leslie D in the song with Shan in the Grease song. What's her name? Look at me and Sandra, Sandra D. Sandra D. But Leslie Suffering D. from virginity. Okay, so we have this. You can, um, which I'll do, but um, take a little bit of are white we're just going to put it on here and we're just going to add a little bit of water now we do have color trays you can do this in um but i just will this is easy yeah this is easy so um and you can add a little bit more with your paintbrush water it down and then what we can do is just add a little detail to the edges Christine House says they need to get ink pens. I do more with ink than I do with chalk, and it would be fun to have that option. That would be kind of fun, wouldn't it? But the thing about our our uh, ink, it's made by another company. We that's the one thing we don't make in house. I don't like it. So that's what I love about your chalk. Chalk. See how easy that comes off? If you try something, you're like, ooh, I don't like it. Look at how easy that is to mm -hmm. just wipe, wipe it off. away as if it never happened. There we go. Ta -da. But now we can say, ooh, we tried it and we didn't like it. Fran asks, how can I get a catalog? There is a link down below. There you go, Fran. Sean, while you, I'm going to clean up our paste and you can show up close all that. All right, I'm going to do a quick zoom in here, everybody, so you can kind of see. There we go. Now, of course, even you can, as I'm tilting this, you can see the, the sparkle. It's almost like there's diamond dust in that bat. And there's even some in the olive. Just has to hit it just right. The darker ones seem to do really nicely. You can see in that harvest in the moon there, see how nice that harvest uh, shimmer is? It's kind of a yellowish gold, almost. Or that somewhat some people call Chinese or China brass gold. I have never heard it referred to that. Yeah. I don't know why, but it does. Huh. 
I've heard of bra school, but I didn't know it was like Chinese bra school. Yeah. But I know what you're talking about. Like when you go to a Chinese restaurant, they'll sometimes have yeah. all of the gold and stuff. Yeah. It is awesome, Kate. You got it. All right. So let's go ahead and um, show you up top what it looks like. Mm -hmm. Got all of our paste cleaned. How fun is that? That is awesome. So let me see if I can have it hit. You can really see the the from from afar. It almost it, looks like a foil. A foil, but when you look at it close, like I showed you earlier, it's got that little diamond dusty effect in there, which is really cool. Isn't that fun? And I love the the way this board. We show them back down here Absolutely. how that board just just uh, with that stain, it really made it look kind of vintagey, yeah. old school, which mm -hmm. I love. When you're cleaning up, we need to look for. Oh, never mind. Just found Got it. it. Found your tip. Yep. Yeah. If you buy that poke, if you get that pokey's tool, <laughs> don't lose the don't lose the little cap. It's very easy to do. Yeah. It almost needs to be a tether to it, but I think it would be hard to do it. But now I lost my pokey tool. There's one. Do you see my other pokey tool? Pokey pokey tool. Um, Kathy, good question. I don't know. We just got this so, or just used it for the first time. So we don't know. She asks, once the, once the stain is dry being a water base, does it come off the surface? When, if uh, damp, something got damp wiped on it, should it be sealed? I don't know. I, I really don't know. I think once it's basically in the wood, it's going to Yeah, it stains wood. the wood. Yeah. So, oh my gosh, it's so cute. So the Shimmer Purple is not available. This was a designer exclusive meaning that to get this we had to be a chalk couture designer and gone to chalk con now i have asked them please release it as a permanent color um especially lot, for halloween i think a lot of people are saying this yeah to, to corporate, they so love it so um because look at the purple on that it just is like yeah, sean says it's got that nice diamond like diamond dust yeah. in it. And then this is this beautiful, even though it's olive, to me it's more of a kiwi green. And then you got that harvest yellow yeah. and stuff. Um, so the colors just really go nice all together. And I just love adding that white pen. That's all that was, was just adding those little dollops of white here and there. Free handing, you could do that in black if you wanted to. We have a nice gold and silver you could add to it. Yeah. Um, and just have fun with it. So is the gold and the silver kind of shimmerish? Oh yeah, let me so, grab them. So there you go. Yeah. So, um, let me put that over here, and then let me do, grab a. I do it on the back of this. I'll zoom in for you. There you go. And just bring it down here. Or no, I can actually move that. There you go. Yeah, I think everybody, Amanda, would love it if they made the purple available. It is definitely a gorgeous color. I think maybe if enough people contacted uh, corporate and say, hey, you need to make bring out that purple. I think the shimmers have sold so well that hopefully we'll start seeing a whole line of it. So last, I mean, we only had brawn or copper, gold, and silver, and now they have the olive, the red, the, the white, the, the black. So hopefully, um, we will see more and more and more stay as a permanent one. Mm -hmm. uh, Debbie asks, can you wet this down and wipe it all off and reuse? This or that? This. Um, not on wood, because no. it's going to absorb the colors, but you can see here, look at that. Let me dry that real quick. I'm gonna zoom in, no need to lift it. Can you water down and paint with shimmer paste like you can with the others and still have the shimmer? You can, you'll start to lose a little bit of your shimmer, but you yeah. can technically. Now let me uh, do it up here so they sure. can see. Do you have a rose gold chalk marker? We do not. We do not. We you can would, make a rose gold. You can make rose easy. gold in your, in your paste. 
Addicted to your freeze-dried Skittles, says Nancy. They're so good. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, that is everything. I hope you enjoyed today's project. We will be back tomorrow to do another project. Um, I don't know what we'll do tomorrow. Maybe a Thanksgiving one. Um, so if you have any questions, you can reach out to us on social media. Um, I do have, if you guys have been reaching out to me on Club Couture members saying that they're not getting my emails or communication, if you are a Club Couture and you have not heard from me at all this month, make sure to email me. Um, I can walk you through, make sure I am your Chalk Couture designer, but then also I do, they did tell us there was a little bit of a, um, quirk for some of my Club Couture members and mm -hmm. they're not getting emails and so they're re-adding them to my list. Um, so Joanne asked, how do you make rose gold? It is, um, you take, uh, couture, coral, copper, and silver. I don't remember. Couture, coral, copper, and silver. Mm -hmm. Mix them, rose gold. And you can, you can adjust it a little bit as you make it. So start small and just go, go mm -hmm. on with that. Very true. I have a big bag of Skittles coming tomorrow. They're so good. <laughs> You're going to be addicted. So, all right, guys, thanks for joining. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye, everybody.